Well, it's nice to finally talk to you face to face, Chuck. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm excited to talk about the build. I appreciate you sharing the build with us and and the instructions. That's going to be awesome. We're going to add it as a community kit. So if people want to make the the same thing, they'll be able to. And I'm excited to just talk about the build with you today. Uh, So if you kind of want to, I mean, you sent the video to me and I've seen it, so I Mm -hmm. know about it. But maybe if you want to talk a little bit about uh, why it is you made it and then a little bit about how you did it. And I'll pull up some pictures and we'll just kind of show everybody what you did because you had a lot of neat tricks and hacks in there that I think people will find useful. Well, the the reason we uh, the reason I started the build and uh, is because what we were using was what you can normally get from a, a Walmart or something like that, and then they're universal. They're they're adjustable for different heights. They're uh, you can collapse them up and put them away real easy. And uh, uh, we were looking for something that was much more substantial, and we were looking for something that was uh, that we only needed it for one place. We didn't need to have it universally available to uh, adjust up and down. Mm-hmm. But in doing that, we were able to make it much stronger. I have it set up on my uh, table out in the lanai. If you'd like to go take a look at it. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, that'd be great if you don't mind. There we go. All right. Is it, did you see it now? Yes, I can. So um, I don't know. I had sent you a video and I had talked about it a little bit. But uh, one of the things in every time I build something, I always seem to come up with ideas afterwards that would make it better. Mm-hmm. And significant about this build is if the dimensions are right on the top here, you can actually take the top and and press it onto the side, onto the side here. So okay. if you to do and fold it up real easy just by taking out this the center that center pole mm-hmm. and then the two the two sides collapse and the top snaps on the two sides and it's real easy so it's it, it worked really well these things are uh I, I weigh 195 pounds and i sat on it. it it's really strong nice it looks like it and the way you designed it with the the two pipes on each side going up that, that really helps a lot with the with the rigidity of it and to make sure that the top is level now on this one, I have both the wheels and the skids. We have carpet, so we don't really use the, the wheels very much, but I left them on there so that you could see. And you can just take one hand and just wheel this thing around anywhere you want. It's pretty easy to move around. Very nice. One, and you made that to kind of slide underneath a chair, correct? So you use it yeah. as like an eating tray? Yes, yes. Uh, because of my illness, uh, I, I spend a lot of time sitting on the couch or sitting on our, my recliner. And mm. uh, so we don't really use the dining room, stuff like that. I, it's, it's very difficult for me to move around substantially at any part of the day. Mm-hmm. And uh, I only get to work on these a couple of days a week because that's all my body can handle. Well, it so. looks great. I'm, I'm glad you're able to finish and I'm glad it's, uh, I'm glad it's helpful to you. Um, I, I think the, the skid plates and the casters that you added are, are a really cool idea, especially so the skid plates help slide it across the carpet. Is that correct? Oh yeah. Well, you can push across with the skid plates. You can push it across the carpet with one finger. Nice. It's, it's really, really works nice. And the wheels work nice too. All you have to do is just lift up this one edge. See, all you have to do is lift up this edge, and once it's on the wheels, it just rolls around, you know, pretty easily. What are those skid plates? They're furniture movers. Okay. If you look on Amazon and you look for furniture movers. Mm-hmm. These are these are skid plates with a piece of foam on the top that you would put underneath the legs of like a couch or a chair or something like that, so you can move right. furniture around really easily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, what I did was I used the skid plate, and then this piece here is a broom handle holder, oh. which you would, you would glue this. There's a, uh, a some glue that comes with it, and you you put this on the wall, and then you can put your broom in there. Well, the broom handle is the same diameter as the maker pipe, the the, the EMT, so it fits right in there, snaps right in this thing, and uh, works perfect to uh, to attach these skid plates. That is really clever. How'd you come up with that? These ideas just seem to float into my head. I just <laughs> want to think you wake up in the morning and you go, oh, I know how to do that. And they just come to me. I don't know how they do that. I, I've had people ask me that question before. And I don't know. <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> they just come to me. And, that's, uh, that's great. That's such a clever, clever combination. Because I've seen those furniture movers. And I, I know the ones you're talking about now. I've never seen them with those clips. That's why I didn't recognize them. But I know which ones. They go underneath like furniture legs. And they slide across yeah. carpet. And I've also seen those broom clips. But I never would have thought to combine the two. So that's really clever. I'm really glad you... You showed and, that. And, if, and if you have hardwood floors or if you have ceramic tile or anything like that, if they have furniture movers that have, uh, it's like a, a felt pad on the bottom instead of a plastic pad. Mm-hmm. And the felt pad 
would work exactly the same way. You just snap them on there, and then you can slide it across the hard surface uh, floors uh, very easily, very easily. Wow. So, yeah, that's how they go. And the thing I like about maker pipe that's just great is you can, if, if you go to a store and you want to buy something, you want to buy anything. You want to buy a, a, a rack or you want to buy a, a, a bookshelves or you want to buy you buy anything, mm-hmm. you are you really have to deal with what, what sizes they have available to you. But with MakerPipe, I can make it any size I want. I can make it, I can adjust the size. I can make it fit in places where you could never find anything to fit in that space. So that's right. the thing that I just love about it is just uh, uh, be able to do that. And the other thing that I love, the top on here was thrown away by one of my neighbors. <laughs> And I love taking stuff that people throw away and make it into something that's really nice. I actually showed her this and she went, wow, I had no idea that <laughs> you could do that with that. So that's great. One man's junk is another man's treasure, as they say. <laughs> oh, and you kind of see a little bit of the stuff I have back here on my lanai and that I'm making, uh, you know, going to make, end up making stuff out of. And, uh, I have a little space here, but I manage with it okay. And mm-hmm. I built two. So one for my wife, Rose, and, and one for myself. And uh, we use them continuously uh, all day long. That's really great. Another another hack I'm curious about is, I know we have the casters on our site that are a little made a little bit different and probably wouldn't work as well as they do here because that lifts up and then you, you kind of mm-hmm. slide it across. That's why they're <laughs> at that angle. What kind of casters are those and how did you attach them to the build? These are, these are just three inch casters uh one of the things things that you have to be uh significant is if you look at casters for instance on on amazon or something like that they have what they call hooded casters Mm -hmm. which the there's a hood over this part here that because the caster normally sits uh, perpendicular Mm -hmm. uh that that hood is over the top but if you put it down at a 40 feet 45 degree angle that hood then makes contact with the floor before the wheel goes Mm -hmm. so i had to use these uh these three inch wheels on here to uh to get it and all that is is a piece of small piece of pipe Mm -hmm. inside the 45 degree connector with one of those press in a quarter 20 pieces right i don't know what you call what do you call now the the Uh, the threaded the the threaded pipe inserts yeah, threaded pipe insert. So that's all that is, is, is that 45 degree with a little two inch piece of pipe in there and then the threaded insert in there. And then the, the uh, wheel is screwed into that threaded insert. Right. That's another great use of materials. Um, and, you know, the casters we have, they have that 3D printed insert. But one thing we've never really talked about that you totally could do is exactly what you did. You just get the threaded pipe inserts and put those on a piece of pipe. Probably the lipped version would be the best just to keep it from pushing up farther into the pipe. Um, mm-hmm. And then you, yeah, like exactly like you did, just thread the the caster, whichever one you find, at, you know, locally off the shelf or if you already have it available and just thread that right into the insert. And these are nice looking. They were black and they were, you know, they were fairly nice looking. So I thought, you know, that's, that's it. And, and uh, this is just on here for show. We don't even really need these. So <laughs> I just wanted to show you. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad you did because that's that's a great hack. I think I think those in the in the sliders, I think people are gonna get a kick out of and find really useful. And, and the conduit conduit is shrink wrapped. Yes, yes, I did the black shrink wrap. By the way, that shrink wrap you have. I'm a, been a, I was an electric electric electronic sorry electronic engineer for 35 years, and nice. I've used a lot of heat shrink. That heat shrink you have is phenomenal. That stuff is great. I love it. That's great. It is, it is it is and it, it gives you that shiny look it gives mm-hmm. you it shrinks up really nice without deforming uh i'm i'm very impressed with it that's great i'm glad to hear yeah it, it looks really looks really good with the black connectors the black and silver can is not for everybody but the black wrap with the black connectors looks really good and you've got the black mm-hmm. sliders on there and the casters so it, it looks really great yeah if i was to have if i was to do it again uh like i I did in my video. Let me see if I can get up under here again. I did. I routed this where mm-hmm. so that the pipes would stay flat. But if I was to do it again, I would use uh, these same type of connectors mm-hmm. uh, here on the under on the underneath of this here, so that I could snap the top right off. Nice. Real that. nice. Very simple to fold it up and and put it away if you didn't use it all the time like we do. That's. 
That's a great idea. Another great trick because those clamps, I mean, like you said, they're made to hold broom handles or things like that. So they already have pre-drilled holes because you're supposed to attach them to walls and things like that. So it seems yeah. like a, a perfect solution to attach to a flat surface and then just pop it off. Exactly. You can use the uh, adhesive one portion or you, there's there's holes in it. You just put a couple of screws in it. So yeah, uh, it it, uh, it would work in either either way. And, and if, like I said, if I were to do it again, that's the way I would do it. Uh, it's, it, it makes it easier. Uh, it might make it a little taller, but then all you have to do is you just have to adjust the size down a little. Again, that's what's so great about maker pipe is you can just adjust the size very easily and uh, and it'll fit and, and it works perfectly. Well, that's really great. I'm glad to hear you had a good experience with it and, and it's an awesome build. I'm really glad you, you shared it with me. And thanks again for making the instructions. So we're going to add that as a community kit. People that are watching can find it under the kit section on the site and we'll have the instructions there for free. If somebody wants to make the exact same table, they'll be able to. So that's that's really awesome. And if you if they have any question or anything, you need any help from me, I'm I'm here all the time and I can certainly answer emails. Can I can I show you something else? Oh yeah, for sure. I spend a lot of time in bed because of my illness. And so I wanted something where I could have a light, but I also needed something where I could uh, make a stand for my iPad, which mm -hmm. I use continuously all day. So what I did was I created this lamp. Oh, wow. And uh, how this, how I did this is I, I've got the, the lamp housing here mm -hmm. from, uh, from Amazon, and it has a, a juke, they call it juke, uh, yeah, I got uh, lines for it mm -hmm. where it runs the electric through it, and uh, you can adjust the you can adjust the height of it. Oh wow! And uh, so what I did was I went ahead and bent uh, uh, what they call a shepherd's hook mm -hmm. in the in the line, and then used those AN12 fittings that I showed you before to attach it to the center pole. Okay? Nice. So I didn't realize the, I've seen those. I know you shared those with us. I didn't realize. <laughs> that you were the one that actually shared them. I didn't put two and two together. That's. Yeah. So then, and the top of this one here, I have an LED light. You guys had some LED lights where you drilled a hole in the top of the, or in a, a end connector and put in the LED. But I found these on a uh, car site. And these are leds and this is designed to fit in a three quarter inch hole nice. and our wires attached so all we did well, all i did was uh attach the wires ran them down through this center pipe mm -hmm. bottom and this is not finished i'm sorry so we're we're uh, my friend and i are working on this so these lines come out right here mm -hmm. so what i have is i have a it's a switch designed for one inch motorcycle handlebars, again, that mounts right on the pipe. Mm -hmm. And so I can turn the light on and off. So this is my night light at night, normal light that would that I would turn on, uh, you know, just to see stuff in the bedroom. And at the bottom, I have uh, a five way for support. You notice they're different lengths. Mm -hmm. The short side is so I can set it closer to the wall. Mm -hmm. And then what I'll use is I'll use a, uh, a sandbag on those two short supports to support the weight of both the light and my iPad. Now, the iPad will attach to this pipe right here, mm -hmm. and it will come out, and it has an articulating end on it. And on the in articulating end, I put one of these, which is a quarter 20 hole, and it's designed to hold your uh, iPad or phone or whatever you're using uh, uh, on the end of that articulating. That way I can sit in my chair and use my iPad, or in the case of this one, light, this is gonna be in my bedroom, I can lay in my bed and use my iPad while I'm in the bedroom. Wow, I'm so glad you showed that to me. That is awesome. I, I remember seeing the the 12 AN clamps that you shared through email, but I didn't see the actual build. That that is awesome. So that's all conduit. And then, you know, the hacks that you've come up with. That lamp is really awesome. The way you can adjust it. I mean, the whole build is really cool. I'm really glad you showed that to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. The bottom of it is uh because the pole is so long, I would I would have liked to just use um, just let that the four, the five way sit on the ground, but it, mm -hmm. the uh, pole was uh, not uh, wasn't level. Uh, mm -hmm. It wasn't it wasn't straight up and down. So what I've done on the bottom here is 
Let me set this down. Is I used another short piece of, of uh, pipe, mm -hmm. got it, and then I put these uh, levelers nice. in there. So I level it out all four ways and make it stand up straight. Wow, so many great, so many great tricks and, and hacks you've incorporated into both builds. That's really cool to see. I, and like, I just love working with this stuff because it lets me use my brain, which is pretty much the only thing that still works very well on my body. So. <laughs> I ordered some of those clamps because I definitely wanted to share. We we have people ask about parallel condo all the time. I've ordered some of those clamps from Amazon and tried them. I haven't found one that has the exact diameter that they describe. It's supposed to be like 0.91 or something, which would be perfect for conduit. But the two that I've gotten from Amazon so far have been just a little too loose and the and conduit slides instead of securing. Uh, the ones that I have, the AN12 that I have are, uh, I've used them on the bare pipe and they clamp down, uh, they clamp down pretty good. But now with the heat shrink on, they really clamp down great. I mean, they're they're really tight. I have I have this I have this uh, I have this loosened up so I can move it to get to my holes where my wires come out. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is it is it's really strong. You can't you can't move this at all when nice. it's clamped down. Well, if you think about it later, if you still have access to the link they for those exact ones, I'd love to to get those and link it for people that are interested. And I'd also like to order some and try them myself. Yeah, um, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, I really appreciate it. Like I said, the, the two that I've tried were just a little too loose. They, I think, like you said, with the wrap, they would be good, but just on bare conduit, they were barely, barely too big. So they were sliding a little bit. I think there's just so many different brands that are making it on Amazon that uh, it's just kind of hard to get one that's consistent, uh, the right size. So yeah, if you share that, then I'll, I'll put it in the description and share it with everybody else and in the community. Oh, there it is. I got my thumb over the... <laughs> oh, <sighs> All right, uh, sit down time. <laughs> well, Chuck, I really appreciate you taking the time to, to show those off. I, there's so many great tricks in there. I think people are going to love seeing them all and are definitely going to utilize utilize those tricks. There's so many great things. So thanks again for taking the time and showing those off and making the instructions for the community kit. We really appreciate it. And and I got to say, Jake, uh, uh, working with you guys has absolutely been the best. It really has. The thing that excites me and makes me happiest about is just dealing with you guys. You guys are so nice and you're so easy to deal with. And uh, you have, you, you really care about the people that use your products. And uh, and you got a great group and a great community put together of different ideas. It's just phenomenal. Really like it. Well, thanks so much, Chuck. We're, we're glad to have you a part of the community. Uh, the community is definitely our favorite part. And we're glad to be able to interact interact with people like you and, and share different ideas and things. So so thanks so much for being a part of the community and for, for your business and for everything. Well, I have a head full of ideas. <laughs> So see how many I can get completed, but I have a head full of ideas. So well, yeah. definitely keep sharing them because you you shared a ton of great ones today. So you know we're we're happy to to look at them and we'll do another call whenever you want and we'll talk about more builds and we'll keep sharing them. So great, Jake. Great. great. Thanks so much again for taking out the time. It's great talking to you. If you ever need anything, just send us an email or call us. You've got my number, so we're always here for you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All, All right. right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have Bye. a good one.